Hello, my name's David Lewis. I'm a 7 to 12 curriculum consultant in the New England region for New South Wales based in Tamworth. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use TeacherPal. So, all we do is open the app, which is TeacherPal, and it will take you to your TeacherPal homepage. Um, firstly, we'll take you through the basics. So, <clears throat> if you want to add a new class, you just push the plus button in the top left hand corner of the screen and you add new class. <clears throat> this will come up and you can enter the title of the class, so let's make this a year 9 PE class. Uh, you can enter a description of the class, so I might make this um, the advanced class. Uh, I can also here turn the timetable mode on or off. So if I turn the timetable mode on, <clears throat> I can then configure my timetable. And if I do that, I can enter the days and the periods that I actually have this class. So for example, if I wanted to enter this class today, the 22nd of June, I just press on the 22nd of June there. I press the plus button up the top right there. I can enter the title. Uh, so this might be uh, year nine. I can enter the location, so if this was going to be a practical lesson, I could say uh, it is on the oval today. The date is there, the period, so you can enter the period as well, and you can also put a repeat in here. So if I wanted to repeat this, I could repeat it every week, and that lesson is now added in. Alright, so that's how you configure your timetable. You then press save, and done. <clears throat> and you, your timetable is now configured. Okay, we save that and we jump out of there and we've now got, as you can see on the screen, a year 9 class there. Alright, so if you wish to remove that class, so you wanted to get rid of that class, uh, all you do is press the edit in the top right hand corner and they'll start to shake. You push the year 9 PE class and you'll notice up on the top left of the screen you get some icons there. We just press the bin and it'll say, are you sure you want to delete this class? We hit yes, because that's the class that we want to delete. <coughs> Alright. If we want to um, then go into one of our other classes, so we'll have a look at some of the functions of these classes now. So we go into our year 11 class, for example, this is my year 11 2012, you can see my class description I've just put there, not a bad class. So I open this up and it'll come up with the students who I've entered. So I've entered a number of students here, um, these are just mock students to show you how to use this program. The beauty of this homepage is that it is also a seating plan. So this is the seating plan that I would have my students in and I've entered myself up in the top left hand corner there as the teacher. If I want to get these kids in alphabetical order, all I do is press the sort button in the top left hand corner there and it'll actually sort these students and myself alphabetically. To get it back to the teacher or the seating plan, you just hit that seating plan again. You'll notice that this will come up. To move a student, tap and hold the desk until it starts to wiggle, then drag to the desired location. So what I'm going to do, Let's say uh, Belinda Small is causing a problem and she's tapping Zach's, uh, Bob Smith on the back. All I do is I tap on her desk and I can now move her to the front of the classroom or wherever I wish to move her. All right. To mark the roles and attendance, those kind of things, you go to the center and you actually click attendance. Now you'll notice here, if I click on it once, it'll make me present. If I click on it twice, it'll put absent. So twice as absent, and if I click on that again, it'll make it unrecorded. If everyone in your class is there for the day, you can just click attend all, and that will make everyone present. You can also hit clear all if you've made a mistake there. Okay, so marking the role today, let's say everyone's there, so I'm going to go attend all. You'll notice it comes up as green to say that they're all clear, or they're all there today. You've also got the behavior tab up the top there. So if you click on the behavior tab, it now comes up and you'll notice little numbers come up next to some students. This is the number of behavior incidents that they've had this year. So if I click on Bill Smith, you'll notice that Bill has a number two next to him. And both of these have a thumb pointing down, which means that the behavior has been negative. I can click on these and I've got there, Bill was disrupting the class. The date, 22nd of June. The description, Bill was talking all lesson and distracting others from their work. So that shows you what that student's done at that time. Okay, if you wish to add a note regarding behavior, you hit the plus sign and you'll see the title will come up there. So you can enter the title, you can hit a positive or a negative as well. And you can also enter the description. So if we had the title as um, swearing, okay, we've got the description, we can enter the description there if we want to. We can hit done or cancel. So if we're done, 
we can hit that there and we can say that I've, as you can see the negative is now highlighted I've clicked the negative there so that's a negative behavior if I save that okay when I get out of it you'll notice now that when I go to behavior Bill now has a three next to his name instead of a two because he has three incidents of poor behavior if I go back to my class you'll also notice that next to the student uh, there is either green or red pillars the red pillar suggests that the student is not actually passing the course and they're getting less than 50% and I'll show you how to alter the settings in a minute. You can also use the grade book up the top here which will tell you so I've clicked on grade book there. I've put in four different tasks here and you can see along the top you can also alter the weighting of each of those tasks. So if I click on my first one, health priorities in Australia, you can see I can enter a description, the title, the date, the maximum grade and also the weighting there. So I can change the weightings and this will calculate the results taking into consideration your weightings. I can also alter results. So Belinda Small did get 15 in her first exam. I can clear that and I can now make that 12. If I hit done, that will re-alter her results and it will take that into account. You can see over on the right, Belinda has 72, which is a C. So that's 72% from all of her results. You'll notice Bill Smith has that red bar next to his name. And if you look over to the right hand side, that's because he has an average of 47.8% and I've set my pass fail rate at 50%. So that will give him an F. All right, if we go back now and we go to my classes and we go up the top there to settings and I'll show you how to alter a few of these settings. So we click on the settings. The about button will just tell you a little bit about teacher power. So the version, the database size and the student photo size. If we go to the attendance, I've got my attendance set at three absences. So if the student is absent three times, it will give me a notification of how many times that student's been absent. So I can click on that and I can change the number there if I want. I can also go in these settings, the periods. So I've got five periods. I've set my day up as having a five period day. I can change again the grade book. So if I wanted to change my maximum threshold there from 50 to getting, from getting a warning to 40, I set that and I save, okay, and you'll notice if I go in now to my class that I had, you'll notice Bob Smith has now changed from a red bar to a green bar because he is now passing my class because I've set my um, pass fail rate at 40. If I go back to these settings, you can also go grade levels. Now I've set these as A through to F and you can see on the right there, higher or equal to 90. I can change that. So if you don't work with an A to E, if you work with, say, um, an excellent, a very high, a high satisfactory, etc., you can actually change this. And if you save that now, you'll see the A now has been changed to an excellent. So you could say that that student is achieving above 90% and they are now getting an excellent result instead of an A. Last thing is attendance types. So we've got attendance types here. We've got present as green, absent as red. We can also add things by clicking the plus button in the top right hand corner there. So the next one, if I wanted to add, for example, a variation of routine, I might just call this VOR. Okay, so that's the title that I've got now. And my attendance types now come up as VOR. If I now go to my class, I save that. And I go to my class and I go to attendance in my class. If I now click this three times, so go back to unrecorded, if I click this three times now, one, two, three, you'll notice that VOR comes up. That's for when a student is on a school activity or a school excursion and you don't want to mark them as absent. So you can put that in there as well. All right, that's the menu, that's the settings. If I now go into entering students into individual classes, so we've got a class here now and I want to enter a student. So what I want to do here is push the plus button in the top right hand corner there and you can see it'll say add new student. So we're going to add a new student. First name, uh, let's call this student Dean um, Jones. Fantastic cricketer for Australia. We can also enter Dean's email address. So let's go Dean Jones at say hotmail.com. We can enter his parents email address. So let's say that his parent is Bob Jones at hotmail.com. We can enter the phone number there. So we might go uh, 02, let's make it a Tamworth number, 67612234, something like that. That'll do. 
Um, parent name, so we've got Bob there, obviously. And we can save that now. We can also put here a photo. So if we wanted to put a photo of Dean in, we go to our photo library or your camera. So you can just take a photo of Dean or you go to your photo library. And I'm just going to pick one out of my photo library. So let's make it this gentleman here. You can move and scale the photos so that you get the picture of Dean that you want. So I can try and get rid of as much as I can those girls next to him. And we go use. And you'll notice that Dean's photos come up there. I press save now. And... Dean Jones will come into my class and you can see Dean's there. So if I want to move Dean again because I don't want him sitting next to Christy, his sister, I just move him down there. Again, I can now enter his details. I can change his details by simply hitting edit. I can delete him by hitting edit and now delete student. So now, do I want to delete this student? So Dean is gone. Now one of the beauties of this program is if you have your email account linked to your iPad or your iPhone that you are using, you can hit the mail, uh, the mail icon up in the top right hand corner there and you have the choice to send an email to all students or to all parents. So if you wanted to send an email to all parents letting them know that their students are going to go on an excursion and there is going to be a permission note coming home, you can do that. If you want to send an email to all your students during the holidays, uh, for example a senior class, giving them the latest update from the Board of Studies or something like that, you can send an email to all students and it will shoot that email straight off to them from your email account. So that's a really handy uh, handy little tool to have in there. Apart from that, um, the other things you can do, you can, you can link this to your Mac um, and you can Dropbox, you can also send it to, so that's how you link it to your Dropbox. And other things, you can rate the app, contact us, tell a friend, etc, etc. Um, if you have any problems or any issues, feel free to contact me. Um, I work in regional office in Tamworth, um, so you can get the phone number and give me a ring. Uh, apart from that, thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation, and I hope you got something out of it. Thanks. See ya.